Hey everybody, it's Missy McQuarrie with more than just a vocal coach.com. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please hit like. And if there are any videos you'd like me to react to, leave it in the comments section below or sign up to the Patreon where your choice goes directly to the top. Or you could be like this person and be on my student roster for like six or seven years, in which case then you just you get whatever you want. And let me just tell you that I have no idea what D6 TBM is short for. I think day six, I, th I saw somewhere. I don't know anything about it, but I'm very curious given the resource who gave this to me. But not much to say because I don't know what I'm watching at all just yet. I can't wait. This is going to be fun. So thank you for the suggestion. Leave me yours in the comments section below or sign up to the Patreon and your choice will go directly to the top. Here we go. Let's check it out together. Whatever it is. Yay. types of vocal registers between those two main singers there. Love the white microphone, want it. What a beautiful timbre to his voice. So what makes his voice unique? A beautiful falsetto head voice range and nice little bit of edge thrown in there in the chorus. Very gently done. This reminds me of, I don't know, late 2000s rock a little bit. I have to go back and review some of those vocal registers. Note to self. <laughs> Yeah. 
those are really cool arrangements. I'm very curious who's in charge of the arrangements for that song. The arrangements. Them arrangements. I'm curious who's in charge. <laughs> no, really, though, um, it, it's very fascinating. The stop time and the placement over... I, I just enjoyed uh, where the emphasis was happening. I liked that disruptiveness. I liked uh, the placement of those breaks. That was cool. La, la, la. Uh, really solid mixed registers. Actually, what's really fascinating about watching this video is you kind of notice there's a lot of mixed register going on just in general. And to be perfectly honest, sometimes I just kind of get irritated with the commentary about that because mixed register is virtually everything. There's so much gray area and it was totally fully on display in the singing in this song. Let's talk about what mixed register really is. So uh blending Ooh, falsetto Ooh, uh, 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 uh. these are different uh, sonic approaches to the same pitch right there's just so much gray area i mean some mixed registers can be very weighty seemingly a lot of chest voice in there and then some lean toward that more head voice type of sound. Let's listen to what they're providing a mixed register here. So this is all very light, little tinges of head voice in there. So the timbre of his voice is lighter. So you can mm, you can hit this pitch in this way or in this way. There's different ways to approach it. Or in this way, or in this way. And the timbre, that personality. Think of timbre as the personality. So whatever this singer is singing, it will sound unique. Uh, his voice sounds unique based off of the quality of how he resonates in here. Okay, so let's find some other examples in here. A little bit more chest voice in that sound. Is that head voice or is that mixed register? Listen to it. He kind of pulls a la 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 into more of a mixed tone at the top there coming down. So it was a little more falsetto head voice. P.S. Let's talk about the difference between falsetto and head voice real quick. Let's talk about it. A lot of people think that falsetto is for male voices only and that head voice is for female voices. Uh, guys can do, we all can do either. It's literally a positional difference between folds being slightly separated and folds being together. So falsetto, head voice, falsetto, head voice, okay? Um, you would think that you would be able to define head voice uh, falsetto by having an airier quality. That is not the case. So it's not as easy to deduce just based upon listening than you would think. But anyway, point being that uh, this singer is choosing to move between more of a head voice, la la la, into something a little bit more mixed register, putting, I, I would say more speaking voice. That's the term I like to use just because he's not blasting his own face off, la la la, with all kinds of weight or strain. So cool, good stuff. Let's find some other cool sounds in here. That 
is just so great that <laughs> underneath the little harmony in there. Oh, that's such a cool little arrangement. Really unique. I think a lot of a lot of thought went into making an interesting arrangement. I mean, just that alone is a really cool little transition. I love that we only hear it once in the song, but these parts were really well thought out because just listen, I mean. There was obviously some thought into the front end being more of a head voice and then moving into chest voice. In this, uh, clearly the singer is capable of doing both on the same pitches. This is jing, 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 very straight ahead, you know, power chord section, but I want to cue it up toward the end. So, okay. So what I was trying to talk about was that there are all these different gray areas of sound, of mix register, falsetto head voice area. The timbre of these voices, like the keyboard player's voice, has kind of this lighter kind of sound to it, which I really like. I actually really enjoyed that. And then in this chorus, we're much more straight ahead, chunk, 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 you know, like power cording through here. Why am I alone? And then going into the head voice and then to the mix. Just um, cool to move around that way and not be stuck in one or the other. <laughs> toward the end so like talking about how cool the arrangement is that cool little part with the whistles uh there's a lot of interesting snare and hi-hat action going on with the drums this guitar part like toward the end here let's see if i can find it oh, vocals you can hear more of like a head voicey background vocal behind his more chest voice happening in there it's just uh it's these little nuances that create such a cool sound Part. Now imagine trying to sing with it. <laughs> it's like buried under his voice. Nice, strong chest voice at the ending, but I love underneath it that you had the arrangements make everything so much more interesting, you know? I mean, just playing through the chords is cool, especially if you have a really strong melody. It kind of, like I say on this channel a lot, it doesn't matter what you do, what you play, what you sing. If you have a strong melody, good lyrics, it will carry an entire song. But this song is also a great example of developing an arrangement that is intricate and interesting. I mean, just listening to how the hi-hat is moving and the snare is not just do, ka, do, ka. Could be so much, you know, he's doing a lot more uh, intricate stuff, you know, especially right out of the gate, which makes it just really fun underneath the vocal. I mean, this is what I love about modern music and rock and pop bands is how you can take a few chords and make it interesting just by developing sonically throughout the song you have in this vocal examples of softer vocals of more full throttle vocals with the chest voice and then these uh little harmonies underneath and some of them are very lightly in there supporting really a, a cool song cool arrangement love the guitar work wish wish it wasn't buried underneath there so much but the vocal does shine right above everything which you know i kind of like anyway <laughs> 
but as a guitar player, I just, you know, I appreciate that he's doing a pretty busy part in a pop song. That's cool. Really catchy, catchy, catchy little ditty, isn't it? Well, D6, this was so much fun. Thank you for the suggestion. I would love it if y'all in the comments would tell me more about this band and how they came together and how long they've been together how new or old this song is, I don't even know. It, I just, you know, really appreciate the uh, way these voices blend. I didn't even get into that, how the different voices do blend nicely uh, in this band. That's everything when you're working with other musicians is how you can come together as a cohesive unit. And I've kind of been talking about how the arrangement is doing that and left out that these singers sound really nice together. So really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it, lots of fun. Once again, if you're new to my channel, please hit like, please subscribe. If you have any songs you'd like me to react to, leave it in the comment section below. Okay, peace.